In this video, I'm gonna show you with just spending four minutes, you can get complete photo sets with custom backgrounds, also get a complete 360 spin, and also get a production quality video tour. And on top of all these content generation, you can also automatically sync it to your website and on top of that, automatically share it to your social media with custom and AI generated descriptions, tags, titles, and the link to the DDP page where you will get more traffic. Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Sean with Go 3 d I'm gonna show you how to do a professional 360 spin virtual tour of your car in 2024. If you are a dealership that is looking for a fast and quick, easy way to elevate your photography and online presence, this video may not be a good option. We do have another video that is going to show you how you can use Go3D software and do a very quick four minute capture with just in a smartphone where you will get 80% of everything Go3D has to offer with just 20% of the energy and just in a smartphone, which is what we highly recommend if you're a dealership that either your sales team or the detailing folks or um, you have somebody that takes care of so many things in addition to the photography would like to do that. There will be a video at the end of the screen in the comments and in the description. You guys can click and watch that. It's much shorter than this one. But if you are a professional photographer in a car dealership, larger size car dealership, or you're somebody who is a photographer and would like to get into the business of automotive industry, help car dealerships improve their online presence, or you would like to know how you can come up with a very nice quality, high quality video tour of a car, let's say a luxury car and a sport car, or if you're a dealership that online presence is extremely important and you are very detail oriented in your photos, then this video is for you. In this video, we're gonna show you how you can use your smartphone with a couple other not very expensive hardwares and create the stunning photos with custom backgrounds, professional quality, production quality video tours, and also 360 spin virtual tours without knowing programming, without knowing even photography or videography. Just, you need about 10 to 15 minutes to spend with a car, with our software, and with those hardware to be able to produce that high quality. So with that said, let's get started. To start the process, the first thing you really want to do is to do the 360 walk around. That we are going to use it to create that 360 spin virtual tour view that you might probably have seen in Carvana website or CarMax website where you will just spin the car and see it from different angles. But we can help you do it in a setting like this or any background and then we'll be able to choose the background of your liking. And if you stay to the end, we're going to show you how it will look like at the end of this video. So to do this uh, video, you would need a few additional hardware as I mentioned. Obviously you need a smartphone. We do recommend higher end iPhones. Let's say iPhone 11 or higher. We're in 2024 almost. So iPhone 11 would be a good option. If you can get an iPhone that has an ultra wide angle, it gives you more flexibility. But if you don't, that would still be fine. You would also need a 360 camera. For this video, I am using Insta360 X3 model, where we put a picture of it somewhere in the video where you guys see what it is. You also need a monopod. Uh, I am using an Insta360 uh, monopod that they um, sent to us thanks to them. And uh, But you don't really have to use this. Obviously, this is very sturdy, very good quality uh, monopod. So if you're, if you're looking for investing in something, so it would be a good option. But you could also get any other um, uh, monopod that would cost you around $20, if you will. And then finally, you do need a gimbal. We are using Insta360 Flow Gimbal. Again, thanks to Insta360 for providing this for us. Uh, but you just need any gimbal and you will be able to use that. So this three piece plus your smartphone total hardware is what you need to be able to get the maximum out of Go3D software. With that said, let's see how it works. The first step is your 360 spin, which you do need a gimbal as well as your phone. It could be Android, it could be iPhone. And uh, with that said, let's put them together. So this is how this specific uh, Insta360 flow works. So it is a very good uh, quality in the sense that uh, it's very easy. It fits in a pocket. You just, just unfold it and then it will unlock. And then you will just put your uh, phone in here so that uh, you can keep it like this with the magnetic. And then whenever you're ready to do the capture, you just put this back in and you continue to capture. For now, I'm gonna actually um, turn this uh, off. So this is how you can turn this off, right? By just pressing that. Uh, but again, if you're using a different gimbal, probably has a different structure, you turn this on. Typically they have a button, it's this one here that you double click and it's gonna actually come back to the default uh, right position, which we're gonna get to this one here. So let's do a start. The first step is to scan the VIN number or the stock number. So if you're doing it for just one custom car and for whatever reason you don't want to have it or you're living in a country that you don't have or need to have the VIN number, then you don't need to do it. But here, this is how easy it is. You just, just hold it here if you have a barcode and we're gonna automatically scan your barcode. But then you choose what type of car it is. It is a SUV and uh, now it gets to the capture. So it's gonna clip in. I am going to turn this on. 
and then I'll double click here. It's gonna level it up. And as you can see, as I walk around the car and, I, and my hand shakes, uh, then it's gonna keep it a steady. Again, we have another video that you don't really need a gimbal to do the walk around, um, and uh, you need to check that if you don't have it. It doesn't mean you cannot use both really. But if you want a high-end solution, probably this would be your uh, choice. It's actually it's an important thing that happened. Typically, all these uh, gimbals, they do have a mark for where the lens of the camera has to be, and that has to do with balancing the weight. So as I was explaining to you, I did a mistake of not following that instruction. So I'm gonna unplug this and or adjust it in a way that as you can see, the camera direction is towards the lens. So that's how we are going to set this up now. And you would see this on any gimbal because that's important for the weight, right? So the mark that you have here towards the camera, I try to sort of keep it on center to have the balance of the weight. And then let's put this back. Just let's do double tap. There you go. Do another double tap to have it on landscape. And now you're on a, on a 360 screen, you just do it. So first you need to line it up. So let's look at the back here. So this one has the ability, if you're doing a very large car or an RV or something, you could pull this out and it becomes a monopod. Or if you have a bigger hand, you would like a better grip, you will be able to use it here. I'll just do that. And so to set up the lens, so you would like to line this up, right? And uh, we do recommend on the top right, you have the type of lens. If you have enough space to walk around, you would like to use a wide angle. But if you don't, then an ultra wide would also do. And I'm gonna use ultra wide because I don't have enough space to go back. But the wide angle or the standard lens is a better option because it has a better sensor, better quality of the content at the end of the day. So this is on auto. Exposure is something that I typically recommend to keep it on auto. But if you guys uh, don't see a good result with the auto for whatever reason, you can really tap and change the exposure to see which one works the best. And then on the lower left, you will see the direction. On the top left is the type of the car. And then the arrow animation on the top will show you what direction you need to move. So you don't have to line it up 100%. And then the way you want to have the camera height, you want to typically set it up so you're close to the roof of the car. So for this one, this is how I'm going to use it and how I'm going to set it up. And I will do capture. Once you do captures, three, two, one, and it's showing you the direction you have to move. So the goal, there is just one goal, and that's to keep the car um, in the screen at all time. And that's really the only rule. And as you walk around, as you can see, the gimbal takes a little bit of a movement of my hand and it helps to balance it so that we get a smoother movements as we walk around. So this would give us the better end result. And as I go to the first frame, it will automatically stop, as you can see. I don't, there's no need for me to do anything. So now it's doing the process. Once the process is done, it's gonna show me how it looks in general. And I'm gonna look at it if I like it. If the car was out of frame, then I could basically retake it. So this gives you the ability or a chance to look at it. I'm happy with the result. Now let's go next. So here I am going to go to the next step, which is the overall exterior. So that's really all we need for the gimbal. So I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna take this out. Let's put this here. Now, um, in this section, we're gonna do the overall photo. So it is important to know, I did turn the overall photo option on because then that gives me the ability to have separate and dedicated photos from the overall exterior of the car. There is an option to turn this off for the favor of having a higher speed capture because if this is off, from the same walk around that we did, we automatically, Bullet 3D will automatically extract eight frames which again, if you wanna watch that video, check the description and comment, you will see that's a quick one. But this one gives you the ability to have a separate photo. But you might ask, why would I want a separate photo if you guys can automatically extract it from the spin? Well, the reason is that the spin, if you remember, we mentioned you want the height of the camera to be somewhere closer to the roof. But when you are doing the overall shots and the single shots of different angles, typically you may want to have them a better, more majestic capture, more majestic angle, and that's when you're doing it somewhere where the tire is. Like this is where you want the height of the lens to be, to give a more majestic look of the car. And if that's the type of angle that you would like to get, or maybe you just want to have it at this height, not really too high, but let's say at the elevation or at the low point. So we call this in Glow 3D app, we call this low point, or you could have a high point, which is literally any other height that you would like to capture. So in this one, I've set it up for the low point because then it will give me a virtual tour 360 spin that has a nice top view. And then it also has a single image from the bottom view, which uh, it will get synced to my inventory management for the better overall look of the car. So with that said, so this is uh, basically the angle. Uh, I'm gonna come out a little bit because again, I want to use the wide angle and this is a low point. So I'm gonna actually use low point you probably don't see much of a difference for uh, this uh, side view. But as I go around, you will see that, let's say if you come to the side of the car, 
um, this might be better. And these green lines you see, they're really just a guidance. You don't really have to follow them, but if you do and you can, obviously it will help you maximize the look and the view of the car. Um, the other advantage is that when you do the overall photo separately, it will give you the chance of adjusting the exposure. So today is a really a good day because it is a cloudy day, so we get a constant lighting around the car. But if you're doing your photography in the southern states, let's say Arizona, Texas, where you get a lot of uh, sunlight or in Florida, then you might be able to use this to really have a separate adjustment uh, for each side of the car. So let's do one here. Again, we're gonna do. Um, the other benefit for this overall photo is that you don't have to take all eight angles. Uh, we have separate video that we completely in, in details go through Glow 3D panel settings where you could change the capture order, the display order, how many you want to capture, and all of those other details as you go photography of the Glow 3D. And let's just go there. Let's do this photo. We also have a feature where this, the capture will be activated by voice. So if you are living in a cold climate and you need to do car photography during winter, you literally never need to push a button. You could literally go to one step to the next step, as well as just command capture, next step, capture, next step, and it's gonna give you that ability. So you could turn that on in the setting. Again, if you watch Glow 3D uh, setting videos, you will uh, see how you could turn that feature on. So if you have your, let's say, uh, headset uh, or earpiece on, connect it to your phone, you don't need to take your gloves out and you could easily just command it and ask it to capture or ask it to go to the next step without really tapping on the screen. We hear um, a lot of comments that many customers that, that living in a northern uh, states really love that feature. So let's continue with captures. So the other advantage for this is that you don't have to be a real professional person. You will see the tools we're gonna use. And it's really more about spending a little bit more time. Our, our quick uh, and fast solution is about four minutes and this solution takes somewhere about 12 to 15 minutes uh, to do the capture. So it depends on your volume and depends on what capture you like to do, then you can really choose what solution works. Now that we're done with all the exterior overalls, now we go to exterior close-up. So with exterior close-up, again, you can choose in what order you like to do the captures. And uh, here we're gonna do driver's side open. I forgot to change the setting from uh, Spanish to English, so uh, it's gonna be a, a good lesson for everybody to practice their Spanish and, and grab a dictionary. And, uh, and let's just look at it. This is driver's side open. I'm trying to just, I don't know Spanish myself, but I'm trying to guess from the photo. So uh, if you don't wanna capture a photo, like the VIN number, you could skip that. So now we have the driver door open. There is a huge benefit in Glow 3D app because it will let you choose what type of photo, how many photos from what angles of the car you would like to capture. So you could really adjust the capture order based on, let's say, if you're a photographer based on each dealer customer or if you're a dealer car group and each location wants to do it differently, they can do that. Also, each photographer has different habits of in what order they would like to capture the photo. So again, there, there is a video that goes over the details of the settings and then over there you can change the capture order, the lenses and so many other options. So if you look at it on the top right, we have the choice of uh, lens, but then you could also select this in default so that you don't have to change it every time. And then it becomes really point and shoot. And uh, now we have the front. Let's complete that captures. And now we're gonna get to Panorama. At this estate, that's the interior 360 view of the inside, and for that, that's when we need the monopod and the camera. There we go, they disappear. So um, yeah, we have this and we have this. So what do you wanna do, connect your uh, monopod or really the tripod? We typically recommend the monopod. Well, if you're doing this for the first time, you need to connect it to the phone that you're using for the capture. So we're gonna show you how this works. So once you're in Panoramic, you just say start Panoramic. You choose what kind of brand you're using, Insta 360 in this case. And uh, I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi settings. So you need to connect to Wi-Fi setting to this. So I'll turn this on. Once you turn it on, if you go to Wi-Fi, you should be seeing the Wi-Fi for this, as you can see, X3. And typically uh, the password is in the box, uh, but typically they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times pressing number eight. Or if you look at the box or the uh, instruction, it might be a different number, which you know. I'll click join. Once it completes joining, you will see the check mark. So that means the network is now nicely connected. It, would, it may say no internet connection, that is okay, because basically now this phone is connected to the Wi-Fi of the camera, which this does not generate internet, right? It's just that they're connected through the same network. That doesn't mean necessarily the internet. So saying no connection to internet is completely fine. And then from here, you can basically go back to Glow 3D app. 
and press reconnect. Once you do reconnect, it is going to try to connect to the 360 camera, as you can see here. So um, as similar to this, you can have different exposure, white balance, it shows the battery is 24%. The mode is that a camera is connected and you could have uh, different modes. We do recommend HDR mode. And the reason is that uh, when you do the car photography, the front and back of the car, you, you get different lighting. So by having this, it will give you on an HDR, it actually helps the camera to auto balance, which is very important. Now come in, I will show you how to position it. So as you can see, the first is the, uh, well, it is again a Spanish. So the first, I'll tell you what it is. Um, it is the front 360 photo. So you typically want to position this, your monopod, in a way that it mimics like eyes location. So now the way you want to do the capture is that if there, you have enough space on the middle console, you want to basically position it here. And you want to have the height to be somewhere where the headrest is, right? And the reason or the justification is to basically that's where the eye sight would be that gives you the best virtual tour, the best view. So you place that in, let's say if you don't have enough room, if there's a smaller car, you don't have enough room, then you could put it at the back. So if, let's say you don't have enough uh, space in the middle console, so you could put it on the floor, you just need to extend the height. So that's why having a monopod that is a bit higher is going to help a lot. But in this case, I have it. The other thing is that typically you want to have the front lens to the front and then the back lens to the back. The way you figure out what is a front and, and back lens is typically where you have the screen. I don't know if you guys see it in the video, it's turned off, but where you see the screen is where the back is, like any other camera, right? Any other, like the old time where you had the camera, the digital cameras where, where you have the screen is typically the back. And then the other side is the front. The other way you could figure it out if you don't have that, typically where you have the logo or the brand is the back of it um, as well. So you could, you could sort of figure it out. But in this case, we'll do it uh, like this. And then now if you look at it on, in the app, so let's close the door. So now I, I'll see like how this looks like. Um, I'm happy with the result. It's on HDR mode and I'm gonna do the capture. So while this is doing the capture, what HDR basically does, it does a few captures in different light exposures and then it's gonna balance them together, I give you a more consistent photo. Having said that, Glow3D has the ability to remove the background from the interior panoramic shot, making it a nice white or gray color or even an image. Uh, and with that said, let's go to the next one while this is done. When the HDR mode is on, typically it takes more time because the way the, the HDR works is that it captures three photos and then try to come up with the best exposure of those three photos. And then once you see the preview, you want to line it up. Typically the steering wheel is the most important one and you also want to scale it uh, so that it, it, it relatively uh, follows green guidelines. But the green guidelines, the most important one is really the steering wheel. And once I'm happy, I go next. Now, now this, the next one is the, at the back. You don't have to take the back, uh, but um, again, this video is about showing you guys what Glow3D can do. You could turn off the back. If you just want to give them the front pictures, you could do that. For the back, I will raise this slightly. Let's say if this is a three-seater, we could turn off, which this car is, we, we could turn basically up the third row and do the capture so that the users or the potential buyers can really see the entire front and back. So this one, I'll put it here. So I will close the door. And again, this is HDR, so it will take a little bit of time to do the capture. As you notice, there are different ways that you could speed up the process, and that really depends on the scale of your operation or the car you're capturing. If you're capturing a luxury car that is hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably spend 15 minutes uh, to create a complete set of presentation with photos, video tours, 360 spin, probably worth it, I hope you agree with me. But if it is about scale and you're doing hundreds of cars a day, then doing a fast solution, which takes only four minutes and you just need in a smartphone, would probably be the one that we would recommend for you guys to go. Now with this one also done, let's go to next. And now that we're done with 360 and panoramic, we don't need this, so we're gonna put it on the side, but we're gonna keep this for the next capture. The nice thing about Glow3D app is that it can go up to 50 photos without being connected to the internet. So if you're a car auction, if you're a large car dealership that your photography bay or the photography section is far, or you have multiple locations that view the photography and they do not have access to the internet, there is no problem with Glow3D. Obviously, once the entire photography is done, you do need connection to the internet, so we could upload all the captures you have done but it gives you the ability to simultaneously use the same account, log in from multiple phones, do different captures from different locations, and then it's gonna upload them all to the same place. If you are a car dealership that have multiple locations, but you have single inventory that manages, you could actually use this feature to have all your cars in a single Glow3D account and then sync into your single inventory management. Now let's go to the next step, interior close-ups. 
So again, uh, you could choose uh, what photos you want for your interior close-ups and what angles and many other details. But here we're gonna just go with the options here. I'm gonna actually zoom in and do the capture. I'll do next. Now I have the, uh, the ultra wide. So here, because I did the panoramic, I'm not gonna do the ultra wide front, so I can skip it easily, right? I can skip the front, I can skip the back. Um, but again, you could even turn this off in the settings. So if you are having your employees do it, they don't even need to make that decision. They would just point and shoot, um, not even the size. So here, if you notice on, in the setting, I set up for the specific uh, photo to have the tele lens or zoom lens. And uh, here I'll just point and shoot. There is no zooming or adjusting that, which becomes very important uh, to speed up the capture as well as creating consistency. So let's skip this one. Let's do the driver's side control. Now we have the door panel. Now I have the passenger side door panel. So with that said, our capture process is complete. So now we're gonna go back inside. We'll show you what would be the next step, what would be the next process, to, and what would be the end result. Stay with us. Now that we're back at the office trying to see what the result is, um, from that, let's say 10, 15 minutes that we spend doing the panoramic captures, the walk around, use the gimbal and everything, that's all you will do. From there, our AI system and our servers will take it from there and convert that, let's say 10 minutes uh, process into a uh, complete set of photos, a uh, beautiful 360 spin with custom backgrounds, and uh, we'll turn that into a video tour where we'll automatically sync it to your inventory, social media, your website, and literally everywhere. And social medias would be Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and, and many other platforms. And we'll link them all back to the BDP page where you want people to take actions on uh, the listing. So now let's look at it. So this is, this is a sample we did. And as you can see, this is the spin with a high point view um, and with a custom background. The background could be anything. It could be your actual store um, or it could be one of the 200 different samples we have indoor, outdoor, photo booth style where you guys can use. We automatically um, apply the headers and footers where we have our graphic design team work with you to make that happen. And so the spin is one of the results. We automatically apply the hot spots as you can see. And basically this area is what you would see in your website. And uh, these, the top parts are what adds the interior, high quality, many platforms don't permit high quality images, but since we are rendering them directly from Go3D servers, this is a quality. So um, this is super high quality comparing to any other solution that out there. And, um, and on top of that, this automatically adds the hotspot. Let's say that the rear side open, you can look at it. Um, let's say this is the, the sunroof that is going to show it. And on top of that, if you use the panoramic camera, which we did in that video, uh, it costs about $500, but in my opinion, is a very uh, good and big uh, investment that we highly recommend. It is really about creating more engagement with your audience. And uh, this way you will be able to move around, see it from different angles. And if you have, let's say, rear view, then here you will be able to basically look at that rear view as well. So on top of everything we just saw, we also automatically generate a video tour. So you can click here to see the video tour. Let's click. So now we have the video tour. As you can see, uh, welcome to Car Sales King, Chicago's trusted dealership. Video tour has a natural language uh, narration. That's a look at every a video, even if you have two exact things are different. A pre owned 2019 Volkswagen Atlas it has 105,000 miles. It goes over the specs, the main Experience specs. Experience German engineering at its finest with our pre owned 2019 Volkswagen Atlas. And then it goes over the spin. Entertainment. And then it goes Look, over control. the features. CIB, backmatic QR code. Visit our website. And then it comes at the end with the QR code that if you scan, it is going to bring back customers into price. your BDP page where you want to take action. It also um, is going to uh, add a link to the BDP page in the description, creating a lot of backlinks, which video. eventually Please also helps like your SEO of your website, your domain, as well as the page, because you get a lot of backlinks from different videos to it. With that said, um, this is our complete solution. Uh, as you probably noticed, let's say if you had spent a few minutes more to do uh, the interior panoramic, it will pay back because not only it will shown in the actual 360 virtual tour, it will also be part of the video tour, which uh, creates more feeling view uh, than just having an image. Uh, with that said, if you would like to uh, try this firsthand and uh, get a sample account, uh, please use the link in the comments and description to book a demo with our team or we're going to set that up for you um, as well as we can go over other dealers that are using our system, how it looks in their website, how it is 
specifically helping them to increase more traffic, uh, generate more engagement, and uh, at the end of the day, help the bottom line to increase sales. Thank you for watching.